Hi, I'm Kite Girl, Annabelle Drum. I'm a business and life coach for people that work in creative jobs. Thanks for buying my job tracking app. Here you'll find a series of quick and easy tutorials on how to use this app. I'll be adding more tutorials as we add more features, and I'll also add tutorials if you have any questions for me that I haven't previously answered. You may see me working in an app that has a different design from the one that you have in my videos. Version 1 of each of the job tracking apps all work in the same way, so what I teach you here will work with all of them. In this video, we'll start with a basic job, one when we're working direct with the client. Let's get started. When you open your app, you'll see the main menu. Click on the Jobs button. It looks empty because it's ready for you to start adding jobs. As you save each one, they'll appear here in a list. Press the Add button. Here is where I can put all the details for my job. Let's put in the date of the job. You can add it at the time it's booked, as you're doing it, or when it's completed. And you can always come back and edit it if you need. Add the gross amount for the job. This is the amount before any tax, expenses or reimbursements are added. You can also put hours in here, which I'll show you in a later tutorial. If I'm working on this job for more than one day, for a set fee, I may like to put in a part payment for the day just to keep track of what's happening. We'll ignore the referral line for now, that's in another tutorial. And on this line, where it says Press to add calculation, you can add in any extras that change the gross amount before you get paid. For example, to get to our training job, we had to travel and stay overnight. The client has agreed to pay for travel time and accommodation, but I'm paying for my own meals. Let's add the allowance for travel time, accommodation, and take out the meals. There's our expenses and the new net total showing at the bottom, so we know what to expect. I've designed this app for you to see what the net amount is that you'll have left to spend, but if you want to, you can add sales tax. I'd like to move it up next to the gross amount and can do so by using these lines on the right hand side. I also found when I got to the job that the client has decided to pay for my meals after all. How lovely! So I don't need this line here anymore. I can delete it by just pressing this little red button on the left. And if I want to edit one of the others, I can just click on the line and back it comes. For an explanation on what the difference is between the gross and accumulated totals, check out the next tutorial.